Uh, Kian, before you got in here, Coach was saying that it seems like um, you're just kind of playing faster out there. Why do you think that's the, the case here in fall camp? Um, I think just the whole comfort aspect. Um, this is going into my junior season, so um, just processing things faster, um, better uh, terminology with the quarterback, um, and Coach Babers and Coach Matt. Um, so just playing faster overall. Uh, Kian, how do you think your your time at Servite with Noah and Team Echo, those other guys, prepared you for Arizona? Uh, everything. I mean, having that rapport with uh, Noah and and those guys. Um, I wouldn't trade it for every, anything. Obviously, I feel like um, the time thing was a factor because I feel like it's kind of starting to come into play now, but um, it was definitely great. I wouldn't trade it in for anything. And what do you think just about the, the upcoming year, knowing it's probably going to be the last time that all you guys are sharing the field together? Yeah, it's special for sure. I mean, going into a year like this and having the opportunity to do the things we had to do, um, like I said, I wouldn't trade it in for anything. So I'm, I'm taking advantage of every opportunity, every moment with them. Uh, for both you guys, King first, how would you describe the way that they're teaching the footwork and the run game uh, this season? The coach has kind of said the first two steps are the most important steps in, in, in establishing what you want to do in the run game. Right. Uh, yeah, I would say <clears throat> extremely detailed. Um, coach Matt is very detailed. Uh, like you said, the first two steps are huge. Um, but in terms of like the whole fit, um, hands, feet, where your eyes are, um, it's great having a coach like him because he's able to teach you on every small little detail. Because the run game is very intricate, and if you mess up one thing, it can like, kind of lead to other issues. So, yeah, I definitely agree on that. Um, there are so many things that um, we try to pay attention to, but usually we um, pay attention to like one thing every practice. Like you want to have good hands, you want to get your first two steps in. Just one thing that you want to dominate, uh, dominate at first, and and then you move on to the next step and. Hopefully by the end of fall camp, we got everything down. But yeah, the first two steps are definitely the most important thing. Uh, Roberto, is there such a thing as like a tell in uh, playing that position to not show that you're in there for the run or the pass? Like, how do you manage to keep it so that the defense can't tell if you're going to stay in or go out? Yeah, so uh, we definitely try to finesse the defense a little bit with like the way we align. Um, so you try to kind of like hide your splits. Um, there are different formations where you make things look different or the same, and it kind of um, sets up the offense for success because it's harder for the defense to read what you do. And a lot of routes kind of look the same. We try to make everything look similar, especially the first steps. So um, you want to be vertical at first, so everything kind of looks like a go route. Um, and then you go to, to the next step on your route. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of things where we try to um, yeah, just hide alignments and things like that. This is for both of you guys. Um, you know, Roberto, you kind of had to bide your time a little bit here before you really got a regular role last year. Team, you're That's kind right. of in that position this year where it looks like you're going to have a bigger role than you've ever had. And there's a lot of impatience in college sports nowadays. I mean, guys transferring all the time if they don't get to play. So how did you kind of just deal with, um, you know, trying to be patient, waiting your waiting your turn, um, that, that, sort of, uh, that sort of thing. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that was always been my thing is patience, um, waiting my turn. Uh, something I kind of hold true to is, is trusting the process. Um, this is a facility I love being in. I love coming in every day. I love putting in the work. Uh, I feel at home here. I love the city and the fans and just this locker room and the, the way the guys come to work every day and handle their business. So it makes it easy when you have a tight end room that we all work together on certain things and we're all able to work on certain, certain issues. So. Um, like I said, just coming to work every day and trusting the process. Yeah, I definitely agree. And I feel like everything kind of happens for a reason, uh, especially for me. I knew as an international player, kind of like being a little bit underdeveloped when I came here first as a freshman, I kind of expected to um, just um, have to be patient and kind of like wait for my turn. Um, but yeah, Tucson gave me so much. Like I'm very thankful for everything I've gotten so far. So. I definitely want to give back, and uh, one way of doing it is um, just being dominant on a football field. So it was never uh, any a moment where I thought about transferring or like going to a different place. Yeah. Justin, uh, question for both. Uh, how do you think Sam Olson is, is settling into the tight end room? Uh, Sam is a great player. Um, on the field, he's definitely doing great things. Uh, you can tell that he's been coached by uh, Coach Atkins for a few years. So. Um, it's definitely beneficial for the room. Uh, he's kind of like almost another coach on the field with us. So um, 
just giving us a little details, things that maybe Coach Atkins missed uh, on the field. So um, it's it's definitely great for both uh, for all of us. And as a person, he he definitely fits in into the group. Um, it wasn't really awkward at all. Like um, it was good vibes right away. So um, we're definitely thankful for having him in the room. Yeah, for sure, a hundred percent great addition to our room. Um, as a player, I would say he's definitely. Uh, seasoned, um, definitely detail oriented on everything he does, which is great for us to have and to learn from. Um, I'm glad Coach Matt got him. David, what are you guys seeing in terms of the defense where they're standing up the ends now? How has that changed the way that the, the team is going to rush the quarterback? Um, yeah, it's a lot of new looks for sure we're getting this year, um, which is good. Uh, Getting looks from guys like Trey Smith and uh, Deuce off the edge uh, only makes us better. But I'm excited to see what those guys bring this year. It's a lot of different pressures that we haven't seen before and that we're not familiar with. Um, anytime you can switch it up like that, I know Akina is going to bring some different looks, which is, I'm looking forward to seeing. So Yeah, so um, as Key said, they bring in a lot of stuff, different looks. Um, and I feel like that would only make the season easier for us because um, I feel like we're getting the hardest version right now. So um, I'm definitely excited for the season, and I feel like the defense that we go up against every day, player-wise, but also scheme-wise, is amazing. Um, so it will only set, up for, set us up for success in the future. Yeah. Today was the first day that team acted at seven on seven and team stuff. What was it like for you guys just to have him back out there? I mean, it felt good having him back out there. Um, I do just seeing him run around, uh, happy for him. And uh, you can see like, whenever you have a guy like him, he's an X factor, you guys have to account for him. If you don't, it's going to be an issue. So um, having him is definitely a, a benefit to offense. Yeah, no doubt. He's a great player uh, on and off the field. So um, we're all excited to see him out there. And we're just glad that he's healthy and doing his thing again. You know. All right, that's our time. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're going to watch the Olympics.